Hello, hello, and welcome to today's stream. I see we have a bunch of people in the chat. How's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good time? I uh, probably want to change or turn the audio down a little bit. It's a little bit loud, I assume. But uh, yeah, so uh, hello, welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, you know, we got Leaf here, uh, Philly as always. Uh, I saw Andy earlier, and I don't know how to Darov or. Rub, I, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that name. Linda is here. Uh, Hedge said, I don't, I don't, oh god, everyone has really hard to pronounce names. I apologize. Just that is here. Spike is here. Jay Campbell. Um, yeah, so welcome to the stream, everyone. So today we are working on the uh, marine park that I was working on kind of on Christmas Eve and well I wasn't really working on it so much as just showing it off but uh, yeah so today uh, we are gonna be working on two more habitats for it um, since last stream uh, this is the sort of updated look at the map because we were talking about um, I, I've been getting some help with uh, Trico art who was in again a few of my videos and stuff and we were just trying to lay out all the rock work. So as you can see, uh, the, the beluga tank has been drained. And in fact, all the tanks have been drained. But, uh, you know, there you go. So this is the uh, new and improved uh, beluga tank with full rocks done. We added this little uh, kind of arena showcase with uh, reserved seating and stuff. Um, and then, <laughs> since he doesn't have the mods yet... Um, He's been placing down a bunch of, like, temporary, like, you know, oh, place sign here. So as an example, like, this sign is supposed to be like, oh, yeah, look, beluga sign goes here. Uh, give me a sec, I have angle snap on. So, yeah. So, it is supposed to look like this. So this is the, what it's supposed to look like when it's, you know, totally done. And then today I've been just kind of messing around with, like, you know, doing some stuff hello i'm a new subscriber well thank you welcome to the uh, stream and welcome to the channel uh hopefully we have a pretty good time here um but yeah so something like this is sort of what you know the idea is and again he's been working on a ton of the rock work for these pathways and stuff he added like these waterfalls and uh, a bunch of stuff to the existing habitats and stuff like that but today we are going to be focusing on these two habitats which are going to be the North American River Otter Habitat, which are gonna be over here. And then the Harbor Seal Habitat, which is gonna be over here. So the Harbor Seal, I'm probably gonna to have to demolish this um, kind of like little display I had. Uh, I might wanna move that over here, just so that I, it, it's a lot more open, so you get the belugas, Harbor Seals, and walrus, and like this whole pavilion area. Either Philly Sports, no, I can see you. Don't, don't worry. I, I do see. I, I did say your name. Uh, Mr. Lion Rider, will you do a tour of Roger Williams, uh, Mystic, and... Yes, I will be doing a tour. Actually, for those who were here on my Christmas Eve stream, I did sort of do a uh, tour of Roger Williams there. So if you're really, you know, anxious to see what Roger Williams looks like, if you go to my previous streams, you can check out in... Uh, that uh, live stream. I did towards the end of the stream, probably in the last half hour or so, do a whole walkthrough of Roger Williams at least. But yeah, when all the series are done, I am going to be doing uh, full tours of all of them. Uh, now, that was the thing. is Atlas Park, again, I'm debating bringing back or not. Now, so I wanted to get your people's opinions on that. So, by, by a show of hands, or show of hands, a uh, show of comments, how many people want me to bring back Atlas Park? Because that, that's a big thing where I'd be doing it solo since Lemur really doesn't want anything to do with the project anymore. It's not like me and Lemur have any like bad blood or anything. He's just not really interested in Planet Zoo as much anymore. So I would be doing it solo and um, that's kind of the only thing. is I could bring it back and if so, I can bring it... Like We could do that on Thursday's live stream if you want. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the thing. I saw you in my feed a few weeks ago back. You were doing Roger Williams. I saw a video of Mystic. Yeah, and the Planet Aquarium video. Yeah, the Planet Aquarium video I knew was going to do extremely well. 
Um, but it was kind of a slow burn because I knew that just the th thumbnail alone was going to be like, oh, this is going to draw people in just because, you know, Planet Aquarium and it's just like pretty front and center. So I knew people would be interested in the topic, but like it was kind of like a slow burn for at first. And I was like, wow, do people really not care, I guess? Um, but yeah, then over time, it, it quickly shot up to like one of my biggest videos and stuff. So I was kind of like finding that funny. Will you add whale sharks? I was really debating it, actually um for uh this uh mod pack because i was wanting to add whale sharks into the the big shark tank over here i mean they probably wouldn't go well with sand tiger sharks but uh i was thinking of making a whale shark mod and a black tip reef shark just to kind of fill in some sh more animals to the pack but yeah uh whale sharks would be cool yeah i'm gonna i, I might I, I might do like a a part to expansion of this pack and stuff as well i'm not totally sure um but yeah over time so it's not clickbait but it's so it's clickbait but it's not clickbait yeah that's that's my channel in a nutshell because i've always done that is people are always like you're just a clickbait channel but i'm really not or at least i don't like to think i am because i'll do clickbaity titles objectively but I usually try to be like, no, 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 these are like, you know, I, I found a way to make it not clickbait uh, inherently. So as an example, like way back in my first Mystic episode, I did like the belugas that can dive. Every, everyone's like, that's just clickbait or whatever. No, I actually did get diving and beluga whales into Planet Zoo before Frontier added official diving and stuff. And that, so that wasn't actually clickbait. I actually did get belugas to work. And similarly, I've had, you know, uh, the Planet Aquarium video. I actually did discuss Planet Aquarium. The, um, well, what are some other examples that I've done that are, like, kind of clickbaity in nature? Oh, the most famous one was the, uh, when I said aquatics confirmed, and I confirmed that otters, penguins, and seals are coming to the game. And this was far before the official aquatic pack announcement. So everyone's like, this is just clickbait. What the hell? Um, you know, there's, there was no such confirmation of, of anything. And I'm like, but that just means they didn't watch the video. Cause I explained exactly what happened where no, they were confirmed because there was a leak and the leak was directly from frontier. So you can't say like, oh, well, um, you know, that wasn't the case. Uh, can you bring the camera up? Oh yeah. Uh, I'll show off the stingrays. Yep. So these are the stingrays. Uh, they're not actually like a animal. They're actually using the East Asian wheel prop. And so they, uh, you know, they're, uh, yeah, it's, it's actually a prop item. So you can actually kind of place them wherever. <laughs> so this, the, you can see them that look, they're, they're all happy now and you, you can place them around. And as long as you offset the, um, the rotation of them and you can even tilt them a little bit and then they'll start like, you know, moving in a diagonal and stuff, they actually work really well. So this is so, sort of an example, well, except for when they start flying. Um, but that's kind of a thing where, um, I, I, and I was talking about that with Planet Aquarium. Ambient fish would be great for this reason, because it's so much easier just be going into your construction tab. It'd be nice if there was just like a little animal tab and you just look up, like, in this case, I would look up a stingray or something and then look, here's a stingray, right? You know? Okay. And so I, uh, well, it, it kind of sucks like because you have to kind of orient it correctly oh it's because I, I have a line to surface on and position snap so like literally this is all you do though you take it you orient it to the correct thing which is usually flat and then as an example let's just put it in the shark tank or whatever because i'm sure like even though i have a, a stingray touch tank a lot of people would use them for like actual fish tanks as well so the beauty of this is then you then just take the actual prop you can rotate it a little bit and then hit play and then let it go and then whoa look at this it's like an actual stingray and so it kind of takes like the prop animals to the next level because they at least move um how are there other aquatic animals what pack does the manta ray come from oh so these are mods so these are not from a dlc pack but i will be releasing them in the actual in my own dlc style mod pack very soon uh again so that was just the thing is i'm trying to just you know get everything all set 
But yeah, so like that's an example. Now the sharks and stuff are actual animals, but I thought stingrays are kind of a thing where they just move in circles anyway, so I didn't think it would need to be anything crazy. Uh, we need props. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, Andy, uh, I would like to thank him for being my uh, currently one and only member on my channel. So he has access to uh, the the amazing uh, Nick emoji uh, that he's using in the chat, as well as having a little lion next to his name. Um, so kind of modding, retexturing question, would it be possible to change the texture of the VX VFX items? Uh, so I might be able to I, I've hear I've heard particle effect textures are a bit more difficult um, and so I haven't played around with I've been, I've been playing around with a lot objectively but I just haven't touched anything like that so far uh, so without further I should probably you know because I could just talk to you guys all day but let's actually start working on the habitat because um, I have this idea for the North American River Otter. I want to make it kind of like a very, um, what's the word, like, rustic, uh, kind of like, uh, like it looks like it's from like the northern wilderness or something. And so the idea was sort of make a um, kind of lumber mill i guess so yeah it's like a lumber mill and i'm gonna have like a a big water tower and stuff in the background and there's gonna be like some waterfalls and stuff and it was gonna be a higher elevation than like the other ones that are kind of like low to the ground so like you would sort of be looking up at the uh otters which you know i i normally don't like this design with actual um habitats and stuff normally but i thought it would just just be cool just to add some elevation to the uh habitat and stuff like that so basically let me just kind of map out what i had in mind because obviously there's still otters at the end of the day so i don't need a huge habitat but uh, approximately i wanted the water tower over here so like this would be like kind of where the water tower is and then I was going to do some kind of like faux cliff side along here and then kind of blend it into over here. I have the underwater viewing of the African penguins that Drew made. Um, hey, did you guys crack how to add custom animals? Um, mm, yes and no. So custom animals, yes, but completely custom, no. So Jesse is in the process of working on that right now. Um, but what was really good news is, uh, cause even another modder and kind of, uh, you know, he, he's just an all around great planet zoo player. Um, he was, uh, he brought up a very good point the other day of talking about modding and those custom animals and stuff. And he mentioned like the issue that he saw was what if, um, a person has a mod, right? Let's say, okay. As an example. Imagine my North American River Otter was a completely new mod. So if I were to place that in this habitat, right, then let's say update 1.5 came out tomorrow and it just auto updated my game. Would, you know, the game corrupt this map because it, would, it wouldn't have an animal in here? And so I ran a test for that uh, yesterday and it turns out it doesn't matter. So if you have a completely custom animal, it totally just ignores the entire um, file. Like, it just, it, it, it would just treat it like this habitat was empty. Like, just like it is now. Like, it would literally... So that's actually incredible news, because that kind of means that modding in Planet Zoo is going to be a lot more similar to Zoo Tycoon 2 than I thought, I, I think anyone thought, which is, like I said, just great news all around. Um, so let's do this. So... Does anyone know what the diving requirements are for otters? It's like kind of deep, right? Deep, but not like crazy deep. Because I'm kind of fine with it just being something like this. Four meters. Okay, so it has to be one wall high. I'll try that then. So... Yeah, they should be able to dive in that. Barely, but they should be able to dive in this. Um, 
just because I, I just wanted to make that, you know, clear and whatever. Um, so then I want it to have kind of like a river. And then I'm going to do a waterfall over here. Like I said, I have, I have a vague idea in my head, but I'm trying to figure it out. However, the AZA says two meters. <laughs> Um, so I guess I want this waterfall then. And then... Let's just do this. I love these new items. I haven't really got to play around with them much, but I really do love them. Because like I said, I kind of want like this cool like kind of like rock formation um, for this habitat because I feel like, you know, that's just kind of the shame is like people haven't been able to play around with the, um, or like everyone's just been making like their standard, like, oh, it's a giant otter. So it has to be a jungle themed, you know, thing, but that's why the otters can't dive in Roger Williams. Yeah. I don't even blame them for that or like that. Cause that's even a thing where they really can't dive in the action. And actually they can believe it or not in Roger Williams. Um, in the park because I actually did test that for some reason they can dive I don't know why but I did something that made them able to dive so I'd be fine with this okay so this is like a solid you know and as long as there is a wall we should be a wall high we should be good so Uh, yeah. So it's cutting it close. It's very close. But hello from the UK. Hope you're good. I am very good, Toby. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Oh, hello, Trico. So, uh, Trico is the one that was helping me with the rock work and stuff for the habitats. So, uh, he is the one to thank for any of the beautiful, uh, rock work throughout the, uh, habitat that, or, uh, park that we've seen so far. So, I'm going to make it so that they're... Habitat gate is over here, I guess, and then I will just cover this all up with rocks and stuff afterward. And hopefully that looks good. I'm sad. Why are you sad, Philly? Why are you sad today? Don't be sad. It's it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm not making funny fun of any uh, British, you know people out here. It's just, the, you know, it's just the meme. Um, I said I'm dead. <laughs> they couldn't dive in even zoo. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna, yeah, I, I literally told even and stuff because they, uh, him, Drew, S, they, they all complained about that and they were like, yeah, Nick, you need to make a mod for that. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. What's funny though is like even literally could make a mod too. Like, I don't know why he hasn't because, you know, he, he's, He's, like, as good of a modder as most people, but, like, he just doesn't seem to do as many mods. He's only done, like, a handful. But the ones he's done, like, the boxless shops and stuff are obviously incredibly popular. Um, and so, let's just do this for now. So, as long as it's not Monday, I agree, you have to, yeah. So, now, let's... Because I know I'm making this ugly, but North America is ugly. So <laughs> so I'm covering the entire area in dirt. And that just so that A, it gets rid of the grass. Because grass particle effects are always terrible. But then just so that we can kind of work on getting this to, you know, work out nice. So let's see. Because I want to use the faux rocks as usual. Um... See, I, the, I love the faux rocks. They need another bigger piece. Um, that's my only gripe with them. Is I think the faux rocks are great, but we need a bigger uh, piece. So, just a bigger rock. Just because the ones currently just are like, you know, a bit tiny. Okay, now... So let's see, because I'm trying to think if what color rocks are the most 
stereotypical North American. Um, if it's like this color that's like a darker gray or if I want it slightly light, because I don't want it too light, or if I want it more brown. Like something like this. Actually, I really like this color. Because, yeah, we're going to do... We're almost going to make, like, a pseudo beaver habitat. Weirdly enough, like, that's kind of closer to it than... Or at least what I'm envisioning. Because, yeah, I'm envisioning something that's going to be very... Um, yeah, rustic with, like, fallen trees and pine trees and oak trees and stuff. Just to really cement that this, this is a North American habitat and not a... Um, you know... Uh, giant otter. So, let me see here. Because I want the coastline of this habitat to be a bit more flexible, I guess. I should just keep this raised for now. I understand why Trico literally just removed all the water just because it's a pain to deal with on its own. There's a Lego term called Burt Big Ugly Rock Bees. There will be a December 32nd. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I feel that, to be honest. I don't, like, uh, Julie and I, like, make fun of that all the time. That, like, literally the clock is just gonna, like, you know, hit, like, uh, you know, tw 12 and then 11.59 and then 11.60. <laughs> like, because, yeah, this year has been quite the... Quite the hellhole, I guess. But, you know, I mean, I the one thing that I can say that I appreciate about this year is my channel has grown significantly since it, its conception at the beginning of the year. So, that's kind of nice. So, I do appreciate that. Alright, so they're going to kind of come out of a cave. And then... So, this is what I was saying, we need bigger rock pieces, because it'd be so nice if we had this flat piece, but just really tall, so I didn't have to, like, stack them. Because, like, yeah, the people that, like, do all the crazy faux rock work are just nuts. Because, <laughs> like, that works out pretty fine. Oh, Drew is streaming. Or at least playing Planet Zoo. <laughs> 2020, the squeak wool. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyone have any ideas for a harbor seal enclosure? And, and for the love of God, please don't say a harbor. Even though that would honestly make the most sense. But I'm just, I'm sick of seeing people's harbor enclosures where they're like, It's a seal pier and it's like a boardwalk. I'm just like, ugh. Oh, hello, Drew. I just mentioned you, actually. But yeah, I am just, there's too many of the pier the peers <laughs> like it was it was cool when drew did it it was cool when savannah did it i'm seeing way too many now <laughs> especially the packs been out for like weeks and so people are still making them i'm like oh my god though i kind of blame that on actual zoos the kelp forest i have places in rhode island okay that could be interesting if I based it around, like, actual actual New England and not just, like, the kind of fantasized version of what New England looks like, where it's just lighthouses everywhere, and... Because that, that honestly is a kind of cool idea. If I did something like that. Every seal habitat has to be a pier. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why I, like... I, well, what's funny is, like I said, the actual, um... The, like the animal I'm doing now is a modded animal, which is the harbor seal. So it actually would make more sense to do uh, a harbor for that. But like, yeah, I'm just, I would just be so burnt with it. Because I also have it in my ar Arctic area. That's, so it's going to go over here. So I can maybe do something Arctic as well. Um, I do love these pieces. Like if you want like uh, little pebbles and stuff, like over by your... Uh, like water sources and stuff this is a great way to do it because yeah this is like ideal for like what I'm going for uh, a harbor in New England rocky beach with kelp 
there's a place with very rocky shores. Oh, I mean, th I mean, the very rocky shores are all over uh, Newport. If you go to like Newport and Narragansett and stuff, that's which is our beach area, uh, is all just rocks and stuff. And so, like, that's the thing is the aquatic pack in the harbor set is pretty good if you want to like recreate something like New England themed. But yeah, that was like a whole thing where um, I, I just. I couldn't deal with the uh, the sheer amount of samey looking habitats that I kept seeing. Where you know, because I like I like piers. Obviously, I like the boardwalk idea, and so like when Savannah did it, it was great. I Drew even admitted that like you know he basically just copied Savannah, but honestly, I I think that was fine because he also had that cool like train thing going through it, so that was cool. Um. But yeah, it's, I forget who else has done them now, but everyone. That, that's that's the reality. It's just everyone's doing them. <laughs> so this is what I was saying about I wanted to make a water tower. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I, I the other thing is, I don't want to say these people are like uncreative or uninspired or anything. Because I don't blame them at all. It's just the pieces in the set. They, they gave us the pieces to make a actual... Um, like dock basically like they made a, they gave us a boardwalk set for the aquatic pack and so everyone's making boardwalks and so i don't even blame them for doing so and that's just, that's where uh on take two they were talking about that how unfortunately um these packs like when you only get x amount of pieces it just you know that's just the thing is you just have X amount of pieces to work with. So immediately you just kind of are inclined to start being like, well, I guess I'm going to try to do this. And the aquatic pack really kind of pushed for um, that exact idea. Bright red building, bright yellow building, <laughs> bright blue building, get up here. Boom, seal exhibit. Yeah, which um, that's what I find fun. Like, I don't know, other than the Nationals, I don't know many seal exhibits at zoos or aquariums that actually have that style. Like, a lot of them like to do, like, the Rocky Coast thing that they were talking about. Um, which, again, because I've already, uh, prior to um, the Aquatic Pack, I, as people know on my chat, like, I already did Roger Williams Harbor Seal Enclosure, and I did Mystic's Harbor Seal Enclosure. And so, that's where, I, like... Like, I saw my, all of my local aquari uh, aquariums, New England Aquarium, same thing. They have harbor seals. Buttonwood has uh, harbor seals. Everywhere has harbor seals. So when I was like, and everyone was like, this is what a harbor seal enclosure looks like. I'm like, what? Like, really? Have you seen harbor seals before? But right now I'm looking up a water tower because I want kind of a old style rustic water tower. Yeah, this is a good example. So this is sort of what I'm going for. Something something along these lines. Because uh, I'm not crazy about like the modern design. This could work too. With, or this. This is really what I wanted. The, the wooden one. So yeah. So I literally might be able to just use what I have right now. Uh, what's your favorite animal in real life in game? Mine's pa I mean, in real life, elephant. I, my, my top nine are literally, and everyone makes fun of me, the uh, Ringling, uh, or the Barnum Animal Crackers animals. Because it literally goes number one, elephant, number two, lion, number three, gorilla, number four, rhino, number five, hippo, number six, tiger, number seven, giraffe, number eight, zebra, and number nine, polar bear. That is like my top nine is like the stereotypical ABC animal cracker, animal t figure tube, um, you know, stereotypical animals. And yet, because um, people are doing experiments on my server, not a single zoo in the world has all nine of my favorite animals. Because specifically, I, I also spe uh, specified that I like, um, in particular, black rhinos and African elephants. And every single zoo couldn't accommodate all of the animals. And it was, like, funny. Because, like, everyone's like, really? Not a single zoo? And, yep, we, we, we looked it up. Not a single zoo. Memphis used to have all of them, but not anymore. So, and uh, so did Cleveland. Cleveland also used to. Um, 
Okay, this could be difficult. Because I want, like... What are the different rounded pitch groove options I have? Is it literally... I, I, am I going to have to use the tile? I was hoping they had, like, a slate version or something, just because... And I, I don't really feel like making, like, a custom water tower just for something as simple as that. Another ad in the middle of the stream. That's not my... I, I mean, that's... I apologize about that. That's literally just, um... That's YouTube. Like, I have monetization on the video, the streams, but I, I... On live streams, you don't choose where you place ads. So I do apologize about that. Though, if I am going to shell out, I do have memberships available now. So if anyone would like to become a member on the channel... Uh, much like Andy, you get a cool lion next to your name, uh, and yeah, uh, you get a bunch of perks, I have, obviously, the obvious ones, like, you get emojis and stuff like that. Stream keeps breaking for me. Anyone else having issues? Uh, cause yeah, let me know if I'm having any, any issues. Oh, don't you beg. <laughs> I'm not gonna beg. I, I, I like. I. It's the same reason why I don't like people uh, when they're like, "Oh, you need to mention how many people aren't subscribed to your channel." It's like it's. I, I don't like to do that in my videos because it's one of those things where it's just such a common thing on YouTube and it just comes off pandering. Uh, yeah. So YouTube is coming up saying that yeah, I'm having some issues right now. I'm not sure, hold on, why that's happening. Be cool like me. Yeah, so I, it looks like, yeah, there might be like some kind of issue with the YouTube end of things, so I apologize about that. Because, yeah, it, it appears that the stream quality is going down significantly. Fine on my end, nothing terrible. Oh, okay, well... So maybe, maybe it's like a depending on where you are thing. Because even on my end, though, it is saying that, like, you know, the, the people are having issues. So I didn't want to make those people seem like they were crazy or anything. Because it, 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 at least on my end, I do see there is some sort of stream error or something. Um, so let's see if I do this. this beautiful beautiful lumber mill water tower oh what's funny is i could have actually done the uh go back to twitch um see like i was debating it because i i do feel bad for like the people that did follow me on twitch and stuff it's just that everyone does appear to be on youtube like it was literally so overwhelming that people wanted me to uh, go on YouTube that I, I just had to listen. Cause like, that means that like literally um, every single, like I think it was 92%. So that means that, you know, even if I had a decent following on Twitch, I was going to have a much greater following by switching to YouTube. And it was so overwhelming that like, yeah. And I also like the perks. Like I, now that like, you know, I'm used to streaming on YouTube. I like it all, a lot better. Uh, cause you know, you get the, uh, kind of highlights next to my name and stuff when I'm live, you, you get the, I get to post it on my channel to all my subscribers. I get the community polls and stuff that, you know, let me, you know, check out stuff in real time and stuff. It's, it's, it's nice. Uh, versus Twitch where it's just kind of like, yep, it's, uh, you know, cause the only plus of Twitch that I even saw was, uh, as far as, um, memberships go a lot of people have amazon prime so if they wanted to like you know follow uh subscribe to my channel on twitch it would have been a lot cheaper since it's usually free on twitch at least for like amazon prime users than it would be on youtube but i i, I think you know i i'm listening to the people and they definitely said youtube is way better youtube is better for streaming anyway i don't know how much longer twitch yeah i know i've also like that was the other thing that kind of like i've heard all the stuff going on with like 
uh, Twitch right now and whatever. And even over the last few years, like, it's kind of been fluctuating between, like, some of the stuff they've pulled. But uh, even, like, especially in recent weeks. Uh, but you didn't have the sub button. I didn't at the time, but then literally the day I put out that poll, I became affiliate. So, like, that's the funny thing, <laughs> is, like, the day I did that, I became affiliate. But that was the thing, is, as an example, right? Um, the, if the idea, and I really don't even care about the money. I mean, it's a, it's a nice incentive, but, like, even if that was the argument on, um, Twitch, even if I got one subscriber, on the last YouTube stream, I made, I had, like, 20 donations. Now, granted, it was Christmas Eve, so I will note that, that that's probably <laughs> abnormal for a normal stream. But that was, like, you know, just an amazing thing. And then, obviously, you know, I see Andy has become a member on YouTube. And I just like, like, I like keeping all of my content in one place. Because, let's say, you know, I haven't uploaded in a, a, a video in about a week. I have the Binturong episode. I was going to record it last night with San, and then I, I was just having issues for some reason. So... It keeps wanting to play an ad, but it's acting out. Yeah, I don't know what's up with it. Like, I apologize, because I have no idea what the hell is happening. <laughs> um, but let's see. So, let's lower this down to about there, I'd say. And now to make it so that they can't escape. I got a TV and a YouTube account terminal. Oh, that that's that's really bad. I, I'm sorry to hear that, because that does suck. I think it, it's bad when everyone loses anything. I've had, you know, whenever my friends are like, oh yeah, like, I've had, you know, my social media completely, like, terminated or hacked or anything. Um, when it when it's not their fault. I should, I should mention that. When it's not their fault, like, usually if... If they're trolling or something, that's a little bit different, but um, if it's just total, like, you know, miss, uh, total accident or anything. Hello, Zeke, and welcome to the stream. Uh, I think I was mentioning you earlier, actually. Um, I got a TV in my YouTube, or, uh, yep, I already read that. It's on YouTube's end. You're good. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you fellow YouTuber slash YouTube streamer, because... <laughs> I want to just validate that, like, it's nothing on my end or anything. Because I have had issues, you know, adjusting to YouTube. Just because I've just been so accustomed to Twitch uh, in the past. But I'm definitely enjoying YouTube a lot more. I lost a bunch of people who I was subbed to. Ah, oh, yeah, that... that see, that, it depends how many people you're subbed to. Because if it was, like, a hundred or so, maybe, you know... It, it, it might be a mild inconvenience, but I know, like, people, when they're, like, subscribed to, like, a ton of people, that, that really does suck. Because then you lose everything. So, what if I do this? Because I kind of want to do something like a... Like a, like a log house or something. Has anyone made, like, a, a wooden log cabin or something in the game? Because I kind of want to do something like that. Like, over here. I don't know if I like this wood as the... I mean, I could, I could use this as a basis, I guess. And then I could just work from it. But this will be, like, their shelter. And then it'll just be, like, a little log cabin with a uh, deck out front or something. grid height, because I probably want to raise it a little bit. There we go. Yes, many, yeah. I was almost positive people had made log cabins, like that didn't, you know, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, just because, you know, they're so popular, obviously. I am, I am definitely curious what, if we get a North American pack, which I'm thinking is kind of likely, um, what that's going to look like, though. Got to head out. Well, thank you, Drew. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll see ya.
Uh, let's see. Do I want something like that? Let me look up some good log cabin ideas. Yeah, so I want like a very, very rustic looking. So, I might use the new stained wood. Or what is the uh, the new flexi wood roof called? What do they call it? Painted slate. Because yeah, I think I'm go gonna use this, but just dye it to the correct coloring. Because I just want it very muted and kind of, you know, rustic. There we go. Um, do I even like that? I don't know about that, actually, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, I wish they made a North American pack. I think they will, uh, if you just give it time. Because I, I, I imagine, I'm, I'm still imagining the remaining packs that they just, you know, are holding off on right now are the um, North American pack, African pack, and Asian pack. But, well, and we pretty much know the Asian pack is coming. And then I think after that point, that's when I'd argue fans of the game should probably start getting a little bit worried. Because I'm not sure if after those three packs, they're going to update the game. So that's kind of a, a thing I'm a little scared about. Uh, I'm not a fan of... I mean, the big, I, I kind of do want an African pack, if I'm being honest. I know it's like, you know, like, really? You know, Africa? Haven't we had enough? But no, I just really want my rhinos. And I, I just see something like Africa a lot more valuable for a zoo game than... Like, I get people want aviaries. I don't think it would be nearly as cool as people are are hyping it up to be. Because I think people, like, the aquatic element, you know, penguins and seals and stuff are kind of a a, a zoo staple. Birds are just kind of like, a, like, okay, put it this way. Let's say we get a four animal bird pack, right? What are the four birds you're representing <laughs> all avians with? Because no matter what, I'd argue you're probably going to disappoint some people if you do that. Um, and then even with 10, 15, 20 birds, I just don't think it's enough. And so birds and fish are always going to be in the same category to me, where since they weren't added in a plethora at the beginning of the game's development, I highly doubt that, you know, adding them now is going to satiate people. Because... Yeah, eagle. Yeah, because I agree. I think the way it would probably be is like an eagle, a vulture, uh, maybe a kookaburra or something, and a and like two parrots or something, or a parrot and a toucan, something along those lines. But I don't know if that's really, you know, something that's going to, again, satiate what people have been wanting, which is, you know, a, a, a really solid bird pack. And I think it would just kind of be, uh, eh, it's technically birds. And so that's the only reason I'm, I've always been sort of hesitant over that idea myself. Um, I'm going to add a little window in this cabin. Macaw, bald eagle, snow owl, butterfly, king vulture. Yeah, I mean... But that's just kind of my point is like, is that really, is that what you want? You know, that's it. Because like, I don't know, to me that just doesn't, you know, scream like a super appealing pack versus like, I can roll my eyes if they omit meerkats or, or uh, meerkats or dromedary camel or something from Africa that like that, that I'd be like, yeah, whatever. But something like birds, I feel like it's just a whole new ball game. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see about that. Uh, let's do that. 
that. We're finally in the uh, North American music as well on the playlist, so that's fitting, I suppose. Hello, welcome, welcome to the stream, Lo Love Lovra. God, I Lovro, I, I, I can't. <laughs> People's names. I'm sorry. I, I, I apologize. Bro, YouTube is dumb. Ad again. I'm sorry. I honestly am sorry about the ads. Because the other thing is, even though I'm monetized or whatever, YouTube changed their policy or whatever, so that with or without monetization, they're putting ads in videos now. And that's the worst. Because, yeah, like, even on a, a consumer end, I understand the frustration. Or a smaller thing. Is there a smaller climbing frame? Yes, there is. Excellent. Just because I need a slightly smaller log here. Um, am I crazy enough to do it? I think I might be. I think I'm not that nuts. Yep. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make totally custom walls. Because <laughs> I am a fucking madman. This is definitely only a Nick thing that I would do. Just to get the, the log cabin correct, I'm going to do custom walls using custom wood. So I guess I can delete these and then go from there. I mean, they helped as a basis, but yeah, I'm just going to do custom ones. Just cause why not? I don't care about piece count or people's computers. I'm Nicholas Lion Rider. I just break people's computers with my maps. Cause people always wonder that, like how I'm able to like run Roger Williams and stuff like so perfectly, and I'm like, yeah, I don't I don't know. It's a rather big map, not gonna lie. There we go. That's looking more like a log cabin now. The repeating texture is a bit annoying, but... I'll work with it. There we go, a little, little peek hole there. Just press the restart button. I crashed ten times. Nick, do you have a dog or a cat or something? I don't. I have no pets. I've never had pets of any kind like that. Unfortunately. I, I, I always wanted one growing up, but like, yeah, my parents wouldn't let me. The closest thing I had was I had a turtle when I was... How old was I? Uh, I had a turtle at one point. <laughs> I don't know how old I was. But I had a small little box turtle when I was a kid, and I had fish. But that was it. I didn't have anything like a dog, a cat, a guinea pig. Uh, anything of that nature, unfortunately. No pet sounds terrible. Yeah, it's just that that was my life, because... 
the logic my parents always had was like, you know, oh, you wouldn't be able, around to take care of it and whatever. And then they said that up until middle school and then high school and then, then college and now I'm a grown adult. <laughs> so now the, now the excuse is always like, oh, you can get a pet when you move out. And then it's like, great. So I'm just, you know, one day Julie and I will get a pet. She'll want a cat, though. She won't even want a dog, unfortunately. I think dogs are way better. Because dogs actually love you. Cats kind of just like, they can love you, but sometimes they're just like, yeah, just leave me alone. Like, dogs always want affection, though. Dogs are always going to be great. Shit, pets can be little shit sometimes. Yeah, I know. Like, I, like that's the thing is, I've dog sat and stuff for uh, people, like, throughout my life. It's just, I've never had my own pet. And so, like, you know, I've, you know, had the experience of taking care of dogs and stuff, but, and cats for that matter. Because Julie, uh, Julie had a cat when she lived at home, and, like, when her parents would be out and stuff, we'd take care of her cat, or, like, I'd take care of, like, dogs for my, like, uncles and stuff, but nothing like that. Believe me, my three cats love me too much sometimes. Yeah, it depends. I, I've, I've just heard both. Because uh, I know um, my friend Cole's uh, dog, or uh, cat, absolutely loves everyone. Like, he is like an attention whore. But then next to that, you have... Um, ooh, do I want to align the surface? I think I do, actually, for this. What the hell? Why is it like shooting out that way? That's not right. Yeah, I want it this way. What the hell? Why is my orientation screwed up? That's not right. I don't like that. So, is it better now? Yeah, there we go. I don't know why my orientation was messed up. But that is annoying. So, let's see, so I have to get the door again, so that'll be where the door goes. I'm putting like way too much effort into this build, I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to do the harbor seal. Uh, but yeah, let me know, so this is what I wanted to discuss today. If I restart Atlas Park, or not restart, I wouldn't restart it, but um, if I continue Atlas Park, do you want me to do that on Thursday, like this upcoming Thursday? Because I can do that on stream. The next animal is going to be Fenrir, uh, which is the a Norse god. He's like a fire wolf. My first ad. What the hell? Why is that a thing? I, 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 I honestly don't know why ads are being this bad today, because it really shouldn't be. So I do apologize about that. I, I, I don't know, like, I, I, I can play with my monetization settings or something, I don't know why it's doing this many ads, though. Though I did see that YouTube would change their policy this morning, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But... But that's the other thing I'm kind of mad about, like, um... I, I finally reached my first hundred dollars on YouTube <laughs> after a year, and so I should be able to cash out, but they're like withholding it for my AdSense, and like, and so I'm like, what the hell? Like, you know, I should be able to cash out, but they're like not letting me redeem it, or, or you know, send it to my bank account. I think it's when it breaks. Oh. Well, that's just dandy, isn't it? So, uh, that's, that's kind of shady on YouTube's part, then. So, because, like Drew said, the issue with my stream is on YouTube's end, and yet they're punishing you guys with ads every time they mess up. That's kind of messed up. Because, yeah, that's unfair to you guys. Like, I, like, that I'm not even, like, doing this with the ads, but because YouTube is breaking my stream. <laughs> you did help with that, Andy. You definitely helped me reach that goal faster like, like, Christmas Eve, I was probably at, like, $80, and then 
through all the uh, donations and stuff, I got to 100, and then, yeah, from there, um, yeah, I've just been enjoying, you know, the fruits of my labor, but I haven't been actually enjoying the fruits of my labor because they haven't been, you know, uh, offering me the money, so that's kind of a shame. But, you know, hopefully I get that squared away. I'm going to give it a month because uh, I think I read somewhere that said, like, you know, in a month um, it'll start appearing on your AdSense. But, yeah, I was a bit disappointed by that. Any other issues, I can't even contact YouTube because they have no support until, um, what is it? Like, they're not going to have any support until like January 5th or something <laughs> so like that annoyed me a bit because like okay so if anyone needs help between uh December 23rd and January 5th you're just kind of out of luck like are YouTube people like on school break too like like, I, I would have thought they would have taken, like, uh, a help desk like that would have taken, like, kind of, like, a week off or something. But, like, you know, they're taking, like, basically like, three weeks off. Which is crazy to me. So, until then, I'm just gonna have to, you know, suck it up. Just deal with it. <laughs> Which, it's not a big deal. Because, like I said, like, you know... I'm just enjoying doing my streams as is. Except for the ad breaks. Sadly, the next stream will be my last till spring break. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Yeah, because I... I know people, like, you know, have been enjoying, you know, having time off and able to, like, you know, actually, like, participate in streams and stuff. But I, I knew that was going to happen, too. Is like, obviously, everyone has to go back to school at some point, so... that was going to be a thing. Oh, I, <laughs> I love looking at the, the flying stingray in the background. I wonder how much, like, pieces this would be if I put this on the workshop. This little, like, custom log cabin. Probably a significant amount. I guess you could call that luck. Bye, guys. Well, see ya. Thank you for dropping by. I appreciate it. Let me delete this little flying stingray. Alright. So... What was I doing? Ooh, can I... Because my, my log frames don't line up with my floor incredibly well, so I'm wondering if I can migrate these over. Yeah, just a hair. That is good. And then I can move this back into place, and we are solid. Okay, that's good. So now, I just have to do... I can just copy this. This front facade. Hello, Dynamation. Welcome to the stream. I think I've had 10,000 rocks. Yeah, I know. I It's a thing. But hello, Dynamation. Welcome to the stream. We're working on the, right now, North American uh, River Otter habitat. So I'm going for, like, a rustic North American cabin slash outdoorsy kind of, like, Midwest type look. I don't even... Where do river otters even live? I don't even know where they're located. Like, obviously, they live in North America, but I don't know what part. Okay, so let's... I accidentally copied the floor. So we can cover up these walls, at least. Because I don't really want a window in the back. So we can just... Kind of, ah, man, it's going to make me do this. I hate I hate this about, like, grouped items, how, like, it doesn't know what to do with pivots for some reason. As much as I want scaling in the game, what I really want is an ability to do custom pivot points. 
that would be way better. As a 3D modeler, that's a far better deal if we could get that. Because it would just make building so much easier. They live near rivers. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in 15 minutes. Yep, you're good. Keep adding pieces until it, it can only be saved in, as a park file. <laughs> yeah, honestly. So, we'll just cover up this door. And then go from there. What's funny though is like this cabin would have made a really good lumber mill or something. Um and, and the only thing is like what would have been great for that is the East Asian wheel, but unfortunately I'm using that up for the uh cow nose ray. But there we go. I think that's a solid cabin. Alright, so I wanted to add a little little porch to it. I don't even know if they're going to be able to access it. Probably not, but just to be safe, we're going to do this. Yeah, that looks solid. I think it definitely needs some greenery, so let's work on that. Let's get some greenery in here. So I know I want some pine trees. Douglas fir pine. Yeah, let's do this. It almost looks closer like a grizzly bear habitat or something than a otter habitat, but it kind of looks cool. I would think Pacific Northwest. I would too. That's kind of where, like, what I was going for with this idea was something along those lines. Yeah, like something like that. We're get we're definitely getting there though. So I need to cover up the top of this waterfall. So let's do this. Which Shriko, as as our local faux rock expert, since you've been placing down so many, uh, do you have any advice on how to make kind of organic walls that aren't just like me li literally like flipping around the same two pieces over and over and over again. Because that would definitely help me. Because I want obviously something that looks really good looking and not just, you know, samey looking. Okay, that's looking solid. I always want to uh, see the Asian small cloud otters in actual zoos. Um, I've... <sighs> what zoos have I seen them in? Because as that's another one of those things where I love whenever people say there's so many X animals in zoos. And I think what people don't realize is that's a very... Um, subject... Or not subjective, but like geographic thing so as an example like an animal that like people say there's a, a lot of are asian small clawed otters and um what's another one asian small clawed and meerkats meerkats are another animal that everyone's like every zoo is meerkats in new england there are a there isn't a single zoo with either of those and i would argue like the nearest asian small clawed are in the bronx zoo yeah, Asian small clod are more common in Europe than the U.S. Yeah, because, like, that's the thing is, I know the Bronx Zoo has them, and that's it. I think, does the National Zoo have them? Um, I, I'm not sure if they have North American or Asian small clod. I could have sworn they were North American, but I know they were sort of near the Asian section of, um, of the, you know front side or well what i consider the front side of the national zoo over by the pandas and stuff and the clouded leopard so i assume they might have been asia to match the theme but i almost could have sworn they were actually uh north american so let's do this let's paint 
the coast a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Just make it a little nicer looking. And we could add a little grass. You know, just to, just to mix it up a little bit, you know. And over here, let's use the coarse sand. Yeah, that's looking really good now. And then I kind of want to just darken this a little bit. Just make it a little rougher looking. We need, like, gravel or something. We need, like, a gravel painting texture. Well, in Virginia, they're very common in the, uh, like, the, in the National Zoo. I think it's just the environment. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's, like, a geographic thing to say, like, oh, well, they're, you know, uh, animals common or not common. Because it is just a thing for some reason. Like, um, like, up here, outads are very common. Like, I, I, I often, like, mention that, how outads are fucking everywhere in New England. And yet, everywhere else in the U.S. and in the world, it seems, they just don't even exist. So, like, that's always just funny to me, like, whenever, like, I mention that, and then people are like, what the hell are you talking about? Outads? They're not really that popular. So let's do this. I'm just adding some little bits of foliage and stuff. Uh, North American, I want temperate, probably. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Sycamore? No. I, I am changing it from the classical music to something else, because I hate the classical music in the game. Colt State Park is an inspiration for the harbor. Uh, I, I, I can take a look at that. Because I am interested, because like, I've made very samey looking harbor seals in the past, and so I want something that like really looks unique, you know, for once. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, Space Farm has the Audad, the only other one or in, in Japan. Yeah, like, but yeah, I mean, Roger Williams has them, Southwick's has them, I think Franklin Park might, like, actually, no, I, I don't think they do, but, um, Somewhere else does. I think York does. York does. York has Owdad. So, with, you know, you would think that they would be, you know, more common from, or uh, extremely common by the way that, like, you know, I always talk about them and stuff, but, like, yeah, apparently they're not common at all. Which probably makes sense to the rest of you, since most of you don't live in New England, in, or in the Northeast in general. The tower in the corner is supposed to be a water tower. Yeah, it is. I'm, I, I might do some detailing on the side of it and stuff after, if that's what you're going to probably say. Like, oh, it needs, you know, a little spout or something like that, you know. I'll, I'll mix it up, though. Don't, so don't worry if, you know. I think this is a solid habitat, though. I definitely like it. Um... Let me see, because I don't know what you did with the pathing around here. Obstructed by water volume. So yeah, they're just gonna they're just gonna have to look at it from there. Because I'm just gonna cover this up anyway. We need dill. What just in, it like in general? <laughs> we need dill in the game. We need dill to get the game is what we need. Dalton has it now. We need Dill to get it. We need Eddie to get it. Maybe on my server I'll just do a, uh, j just for my co-hosts and stuff, a, 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 a very special raffle where I just donate uh, the game to someone who, you know, just doesn't have it, but has been in a lot of my videos or something. There's a wild outad population in Texas. Yeah. Uh, wait, wild? Really? That's interesting. Because that would mean, like, that they were... Actually, no, I, I think I know the reason. Because Texas is really big for hunting. So that's probably the reason. They probably just released them there so that they can make a hunting population. Um...
You can message Dale, see if he'll <laughs> pop into the chat to answer our OutAd related questions. So, Trico, hope you don't mind. I'm going to try to do something over here. I'll have to see what, but... Do you guys think they can escape? I should probably spawn one in just to see if they can escape or not. I'll have to see about that. Shit, now we need Apic. Yeah, Apic's our local hunting expert. Dill's our local zoo expert. I have a whole team of people on my channel that are just informed on everything. Okay, so I think I... What... I forget which, I think, is it males? I forget, I think it, this is either gonna spawn in two whales or two otters. <laughs> I'll have to see. Hopefully they're North American otters, but they could be whales. Okay, they're otters, okay. So that's good news. Cause I just wanna see if they can escape or not. Per oh, fuck, they can't escape. Oh, that's an easy fix, though, actually. That's just finish the wall, Nick. Why didn't you finish the wall? We need to build a wall. We need to build a wall, and the otters are going to pay for it. Try not to spawn in a beluga. What are you doing in new... Oh I'm new. Oh, is this Planet Zoo? Yeah, that's, yeah, this is Planet Zoo. This isn't Putt-Putt Saves Zoo. I, I know a lot of people wanted me to play Putt-Putt today. But I did leave it up to, to, to a vote, and people voted that they would like me to just do normal Planet Zoo today. So, yeah, okay, so they can... Cool. So, now, that's a solid... That's a solid habitat. I think it, it, it kind of throws off the aquarium theme a little bit, but it definitely looks good for river otters, I'd say. Because you get a decent view down here as well. You can look at them. Look at them go. Uh, I wish the water was clearer, of course. If it had been a whale mod, would it escape the same? Yeah, it would have escaped the exact same and moved and stuff. Because the whales are over here. The whales are over here. So this is where the whales would go normally. Uh, Trico just took them out and whatever. Uh, just because... <laughs> where's the putt putt gang? <laughs> um, let me see. Cause let me see if I, I can do a little otter statue here. Because maybe you guys can help me figure out what otter statue I'm keeping and which one I'm getting rid of. Because obviously I want to get rid of some of the otter statues to make room for stuff like the... Uh, beluga statues and stuff like that, but I want to keep some of the otters, and so I'm gonna let you guys help me decide which one is being kept and which one's going away. So let's do this. This little platform that I'm building here is gonna be where we place our otter statue. Okay, so Otter. Hello, welcome back. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so which Otter statue do we like? Do we like this one? Do we like this one? Or do we like this one? Do we like, do we like curled up, handstand, or swimming? Because I'm curious about that. Because if we figure that out, you know, that statue will go there. I might even lighten these just so that you can see them a little better. I don't know if I'll, I'll use copper either. I might use the concrete. Yeah. So let me know which, which otter statue you guys like. Because we'll put one of them over here. And then I have to turn the rest into belugas.
kind of like that one. I might keep two of them, I'll have to see. Handstand. Yeah, I, I like the handstand one too. I think curl up might be the one to go. Or maybe swimming. I think swimming will be the one I get rid of for sure. Well, I don't know, because I, I think the swimming one has some nice flow to it. Yeah, because I think this one, like, is the one that I'll just get rid of. But there are two types of all three. Oh, yeah, that's true. What am I talking about? You're totally right about that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, I totally forgot that. Oh, wait, well, I'll have to see about that, because technically you're right, Trico, but... Oh wait, yeah, never mind. Because technically there's four of them. Because the, cause there's the copper versions and the... So if I'm using these, I can get rid of the copper versions easily. Okay, yeah, so that's not an issue then. That was the only thing I was a little bit worried about. Let's do something here. Let's... 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 Let's be a little bit creative. Because I... I almost want to do, like... A blue wall or something. So let me see. We need materials, flexi, or properties, flexi color. Flexi color. And we'll use plaster. Because we're going to do this. gonna kind of turn it a little bit sorry if I'm focusing I'm just really trying to nail in this thing Nick do you like Harry Potter I do like Harry Potter I don't love Harry Potter but I do like it I did grow up with it and stuff but I definitely think you know it's not the greatest thing of all time like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself like a Potterhead or anything, but I, like I enjoyed the movies and uh, the world and stuff. I haven't seen Fantastic Beasts. I probably should. At least the first one. I hear the second one is questionable, but I'll have to see about that. It's another ad again. An Instagram wall. Uh, something like that. I don't know if I want to say it's Instagram wall, but I want some kind of... Because I, I think the park right now is just not blue enough. So I want the park to be very blue. So as an example... If we do this. Like, I almost want it to be like a gradient wall or something. Kind of like what I did over at the front of the uh, aquarium. So these walls. I kind of want something like this. I also wanted to do like a centerpiece here. Um, what's your favorite candy? I don't like candy. I don't... I really hate chocolate. So that's the big thing is I don't like chocolate at all. Um... So favorite candy, I guess, like, like some of the fruit ones are okay. So I guess like Skittles or something, but like, I don't know. I'm not a candy person. I, I, I don't really like uh, candy for like my sweets and stuff. And I'm very boring flavor wise. Like the default of anything sweet is basically what I'd go with. So like, I love sugar cookies. Uh, I love glazed donuts, vanilla ice cream, etc. But just the very, the basic stuff. Sun Bears are leaked for the next DLC. Any thoughts what the DLC title might be? I'm guessing it's going to be Asia or Southeast Asia or something. But I do think it will be Asia of some kind. Um, okay. Uh, Spike. Nick, I'm trying to recreate the Dallas Zoo. Do you have any tips on how to create it as accurately as possible? Okay. First thing you're going to want to do 
is immediately you're going to want to use on top replica and find a top down view of the map or of the of the park i should say because that's the first thing you want to do immediately so um and then you're going to trace over it sort of how i did for roger williams but like i said the issue i did with roger williams is if you look at that i used the um the map of the zoo and no i i made that mistake and i'm kind of regretting it now because now um the babarusa and benturong are getting squished because it's not totally accurate so if you want it super super accurate down to the proportions on top replica is the way to go so definitely do that uh that's my first piece of advice second i'm not sure if dallas has it but if they have google street view that is your best friend because uh, street view of the entire park can get you some of the details that even if you went in and grabbed as many reference photos as I did for Roger Williams and stuff, you're always going to miss little things. And so that's kind of the thing that I'm kind of struggling with a little bit with Mystic is uh, as much as I took a lot of reference photos from Mystic and stuff, they don't have street view and it's a lot more difficult to do accurate recreations like that. Um, the next thing is probably focus on uh it's the issue always comes down to elevation so elevation is often kind of an issue that i see a lot because as much as you can do an accurate um view of the zoo or whatever from the top it's gonna kind of need some creative liberties or whatever when it comes to elevation and uh, don't make your zoo way too hilly because I think that's another issue I had with uh, Roger Williams is I made like some of these hills gigantic like literally like 30 40 meters high and stuff where just because I was using the you know uh, Their first-person camera, which isn't really an accurate first-person camera. So try to get your scale down, too. So um, If, if uh, exhibit is you know X amount or like, let's say an exhibit's on a hill. Is that hill only 10 feet off of the, you know, ground? Or is it, you know, 100? Because that's an easy thing that Planet Zoo scaling can kind of mess you up with. Um, just because it's so easy to make gigantic hills and it's very difficult to make the kind of more subtle ones. Uh, what is your dream animal to come to Planet Zoo? Uh, Black Rhino, easily. Hey, I think Babarusas will be in the East Asia DLC as well. I'm, I'm sure they're going to be in the East Asia DLC as well. Um, again, I'm not sure if it'll be East Asia, but I definitely think Babarusas are a likely candidate for the DLC. If I had to guess the animals, it's going to be Clouded Leopard, Babarusa, uh, Shavalsky's Horse, and Sunbear. That's my guess. Um, but we'll have to see about that. Because... I'm, a, I, I'm pretty confident with Sunbear and Babarusa, weirdly enough. I'm a little hesitant if Clouded Leopard will actually make it in, and I know that'll upset people. And I'm a little hesitant if Wild Horse will. Uh, I don't think they would do Binturong, because I think that would just be... Like, a lot of people want it for some reason, but like even my mod, I'm just like, I don't get it. It's literally just kind of a red panda in every way. It's a red panda that smells like popcorn, but unless... Planet Zoo is adding some kind of smell of vision <laughs> to the game. You know, maybe they'll send like content creators like another like plushie or something and it'll have like a binturong that smells like popcorn, but like past that, I can't imagine, you know, they'd be that interesting of an animal because they pretty much are like uglier red pandas in real life at least. Um, King Cobra in the DLC, I definitely agree. Uh, definitely agree with that. I, I think King Cobra is my pick for the animal they would do alongside whatever, but I'm a little uh, iffy on the actual animals. The actual animals in the back, because that is questionable. So let me get this squared away here oh and uh again i don't want to shill too much but um for those who want me to work on any specific mod i do have for 20 dollars on my youtube memberships the option for you to um get a custom mod 
created by me. It's basically my way of doing commissions uh, instead of like Patreon or you know anything like that. It's just an easier way. So if you donated to that tier, you get all the perks like um, early access to my videos, shout outs in the live stream, like Andy, Andy, shout out to you. You get the little lion by your name uh, and then a bunch of other stuff. Or if you're a little like tight on money, you can do what Andy also did, which is the uh, lowest tier and you get the ability to vote on mods. So right now, uh, the winning mod is the uh, Manned Wolf. I spelled Maned Wolf wrong, so we're apparently getting werewolves to the game because we're getting the Manned Wolf. Um, so that is currently the one that is winning uh, right now. But, you know, you can change that um, if you become a member on the channel. All right, so let's do this. There we go. So that's looking better. So this is what I was saying. I just wanted, like, some kind of... Little little blue wall or something. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll add like some kind of decoration or something onto it. The Manned Wolf. Well, I, I didn't spell it like that. I spelled it like this. I added one too many N's. So, <laughs> so it came off like Manned Wolf instead of the Manned Wolf. Because uh, I had a, I had a few options up there uh, for Wild Card. One of them was like the Striped Hyena. I had the Manned Wolf. The, what else did I have? Uh, Black Buck was up there. Um, and a couple others. So, like, it was just, like, a selection of, like, what I think are, like, kind of, like, popular-esque mods that people might want. Um, and then you get to vote on, you know, which one I prioritize in the future for Wildcard in particular. So, I can easily change it to, oh, Emperor Penguin, yep, Emperor Penguin was one of them as well. And yeah, so th that's the thing, is with Andy being my only, um, my only follower right now, or a member right now, he could easily change it to whatever, because <laughs> it's literally his, his choice right now. He is essentially the same ability as the make any animal, uh, tier of $20, but he's only paying $2 just because there's only two people, or only one member. <laughs> So he kind of has a monopoly over it right now. But you could change that if you if you so wish. So there you go. But done to de uh, down to shilling. So I'm th I, I think for now I am good with uh, what I have here uh, for the um, the North American River Otter. And I think now uh, I can at least start on the. Uh, harbor seal enclosure. I'm gonna add a little platform here. Just a little viewing platform for the little kiddos who want to, like, you know, hang out on a little staircase or something. But yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that's all cleaned up now. Uh... Like I said, I think this looks solid. Um, I'm wondering if I want to do anything else, but I think I'm good. So, if Trico's still here, I am going to be moving this over. Uh, so, this is over here, and I want to move it, because I think it... I like it, but it just was originally put in place to just fill the area. But now uh, that we actually have uh, an animal to place over here, I'm going to move everything. What, is, what else is selected? Why the hell is this stuff selected? What the hell? Oh, I know why. A yeah, Andy put all of the signs in one uh, big blueprint. I forgot about that. So, like, they're spread throughout the zoo. So, give me a sec. So, I want to select everything other than the sign because that is staying. So that should be good. And then past that, I can add the other things. So I think I want to add this over here instead, and then we'll, we'll kind of work it in. Because I want this to be sort of like an open pavilion type thing, where you're able to look at all the different types of animals and stuff without any issue. So, yeah, so let's just do this. Because, yeah, this will just kind of work together to be 
uh, like a big tundra wall, and then we'll we'll call it whatever, because we'll, it'll probably be something. Uh, I can mark it out quickly, roughly what it would be. I sort of did it already with the uh, the coloring, but you know, it would just be a big old wall of ice over here. Big tall mountain of ice, <laughs> blocking these two areas off from each other. And I'll have to see, because we'll probably do something like this. Also, if you're wondering why my fences are messed up, I have a custom mod that I had where it makes a half fence, uh, and so Andy plays down full fences. But like this mod uh, essentially would work the same. You just do this. Like, you just basically like, line them up. But I'm still working on that one, so... I was gonna remove it, but, uh, uh, you know, it's whatever for now. So... Just for now, let's just mark out these areas with the ice blocks. So, this is the Arctic Coast area. So... Now comes the interesting part. So I guess I could delete this. So, what do I want to do for a harbor seal enclosure? Do I want... Because I guess the New England theme doesn't really work if it's supposed to be Arctic themed. But we'll have to see. Huh. Hmm, let me think. Number one want California sea lion. Oh, I do want California sea lion. I'd argue I want California Sea Lion more than White Rhino right now, simply because it's just not in the game. Or, uh, because I can make a modded White Rhino in the game, but I can't make a White Rhino. Or, uh, a, uh, blah, 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 Sea Lion. Oh, yes, uh, <laughs> we, um, we added a little Easter egg into my map. If we look over, where the hell is it? Where did you put it? Over here. So as you come over here, you see this thing where it says Beluga's Waters. Um, but if you notice, the apostrophe is one off. And you might be like, oh, no, that's supposed to, that that's not right. But no, we thought it would just be funny because by the way we place the apostrophe, it looks like a mistake, but now you pronounce it Beluga's Water. <laughs> so it sounds like Blue Ass Water. So we thought that would just be like a little little funny Easter egg if you just put it in here. <laughs> so it says Beluga's Waters, but it says Beluga's Waters. What about a pygmy elephant? It actually exists. Well, it did exist. I mean, the dwarf pygmy, the Bornean pygmy elephant and stuff still exists, I suppose. But um, I, don't, I like I don't know. I I I'm good with elephants. African and Asian are fine for me. I don't. I'm not one of those people that like thinks we need forest elephants, especially because they're not really in zoos. Um, because I I know those people that that are like you know obsessed with the Congo rainforest and stuff, and they want like all these impractical animals we're never gonna get, like mountain gorillas and African forest elephants and stuff. And we could get something like a red river hog or something, but like. I don't know if it's worth it, because I, I think, personally, we have enough Congo animals um, with the chimpanzee, uh, lowland gorilla, the um, okapi, the bongo. Like, there's plenty of uh, Congo animals already, so we're good in that regard, I think. We need all the elephants before rhinos. Yeah, because um, that was like the joke uh, going around was like we could potentially be seeing a um, like uh, in the Asia pack they're just gonna troll us and add like Javan rhino or something or Sumatran rhino before the <laughs> African rhinos that people actually want. So that was a a rumor that was going around for a bit of something they could do and. I don't think they would, or I hope not, but, you know, that would just be a funny, like, troll or something. Especially if it comes out and during the spring, that would be a funny, like, April Fool's. Like, literally just release the the rhino that no one wants. Well, some people want Sumatran, but, like, no one wants Javan. We already have the Indian rhino, like, 
they're not in any zoos. <laughs> they're extremely endangered, like, there just wouldn't be any reason for that. Uh, Andy, I am going to make a slight change here. This path should be water, in my opinion. It needs a railing, though. Give me a sec. Uh, railing on elevated. There we go. But there we go. Just because I, I, I like it bleeding into the water. Or the, uh, the blue. I do want to add some more coastal stuff over here to the front entrance. Oh, I kept saying Andy. I meant Trico. What am I saying? You guys both have, like... Or I think the reason is because Trico... <laughs> your name is green on my uh, YouTube, but Trico's name is d green on my Discord. <laughs> so I don't know why. I apologize. But yeah, I literally just, like, confuse you two. I don't even have the game. Oh, you're another one. You're another one that, like, I'll have to add to my raffle of, like, Dill and Dalton and stuff that, like, you know... <laughs> have been prominent members and, like, following me for a bit on Planet Zoo, but yet, like, don't even own the game. That's red. Oh, it is red now. It used to be green for the longest time, though. Now you're a host, so now you actually have the red title. So, I think I'm not going to do a underwater viewing for the Harbor Seal. We're, we're gonna try to figure this out. Because I want to see what, I, what I'm gonna do here. Because obviously I need a pool of some kind. That's pretty obvious. But what do I want to do? Hey Nick, can you call me Seth? Oh yeah, Seth works. That's, you know, that's good. A uh, much easier name, actually, <laughs> to pronounce. So yeah, Seth, Seth works. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What do I want here? Um, I wish I was like, because I'm like, do I want to just do the boring, like, you know, it's just cliff sides or like a tundra? I mean, I guess I could do that. I was kind of hoping to like kind of get around that a little bit and not do it, but I mean, I guess I could. I could do another like kind of like really bad looking enclosure like the walrus one. Yeah, that's what Drew and S. Dan called. Yeah, then that's fine. Seth is cool. Um, let me see. Harbor Seal enclosure. I want some... Okay, so... That one's cool. I do like this one. This this image. If I pull this up. You can see my secret. I've, I've been just playing the Planet Zoo soundtrack as my music in the background. But I do like this Harbor Seal enclosure. Um, where it's like kind of like tiered. Because I like elevation and stuff in my habitat if I can. Um... Roger Williams Park Zoo. There you go. Um, let me see. Because I'm trying to think. Because, like, a lot of... I understand why a lot of people are doing the piers and stuff. Just because of the normal, like, rock with water and stuff. is kind. Of, this is, like, this is kind of cool, actually. I like this enclosure. Just because of how much water there is. You know, I might do that. I think I'm going to do something like that, more along those lines. Um, no underwater viewing. Hey, Nick, can you add a new perk where you get an animal named after you? I could do that. If, if, if people want... I mean, that's like a, an easy thing if you wanted, like, you know, me to just add that as a perk, you know, on top of the existing one. Because that's a very easy thing I could do. Um... So, if, put it this way, don't donate like a dollar or so and you got it. <laughs> donate a dollar, I will name an animal after you. I have no issue with that at all. As long as your name isn't like something that's going to get me in trouble. But I I, 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 I I trust you guys. You guys are going to, you know, be fine. So let's do something like this. So let's have it so that... 
there's a lot of water and then like kind of like some islands almost and like rivers going through here. Cause I kind of like this idea. Oh, and that could be a cool idea too. So then, so this is the realism part of me. And uh, Trico might be upset with me about this, but cause this is all gonna be the Beluga indoor building over here. Um, but what I thought might be a cool idea is, like, if they had, like, a shared building with the Harbor Seals over here, uh, kind of like Mystic, but then, like, this, uh, tank over here is, like, an off, off exhibit tank for the Harbor Seals. I think that would just be really cool. Let me see. It might be too big, though. So let me map out roughly how big the actual enclosure would be. Andy, there you go. Okay. Thank you, Andy. What would you... You just want... I'll name... Andy the African Penguin. Unless you want another animal. But there you go. <laughs> I only have one African Penguin right now. But there you go. Andy the African Penguin. This is you, Andy. Congratulations. <laughs> Donation. <laughs> I also love how it's like clipping into the ground. Gonna be harder to build, that's for sure. I'll see. I'll, I, I might modify some stuff because we only have about 15 minutes left in the stream, so I'm just kind of laying out the exhibit for now. Yeah, but like I said, so what do people want me to stream on? Thursday. Did they want me to stream Atlas Park and continue that, or did they did they want me to work more on this park? I don't know if people are interested in this project so far, or... And yes, I will name one after you, Seth, if you get a membership. You can be Seth the Seal, or Seth the Sea Turtle, or Seth the Shark. See, there's a lot of a lot of iteration. Actually, I think if we actually look in the Shark Tank, we had a little Easter egg where I named most of them after uh, Shark Tank characters, like the the uh, the show. Uh, so we have Kevin. Uh, not all of them are, but some of them. Barbara, Mark. Yeah, so like a lot, we basically had Robert, we had all of them from Shark Tank, uh, except for, um, it, but obviously I added more sharks to that. But that was like a little Easter egg I threw in, <laughs> is they're all made like Barbara, you know, Barbara, Mark, etc., Lori. They're all dying. They are all dying because they can't get food because they're still technically caimans, but... I'll work on that. So let me see. But yeah, like I said, so so Seth wants more Roger Williams. So I could do that. I could do the Barbarossa episode. Uh, could do the Barbarossa episode of Roger Williams if people want. I could continue working on this park. I could do... I wish we could do different railings for down here. That'd be cool. Let me just see, like, what what other paths would maybe fit while having a better railing. Now they have the same railing. Uh, the gravel doesn't really work. This one sort of works. So I like this one better. Mm, maybe. Oh, we could also do custom, custom railings to that area anyway. Uh, okay, we have two votes. Two votes for Roger Williams. Oh, why can't I add the fish thing? I might be able to. Uh, I don't know if the keepers can get to it though, because this isn't really a functional shark tank. I'm not gonna lie. Up here, this is this is what we're dealing with. So maybe, just maybe, I could fit. You know. I don't know if we can throw in a keeper hut or something. I can try. It, 
Ew, animal welfare. Okay. <laughs> yep. So, here's what we'll do. Yep. Just to technically feed my sharks. I will add in the aquatic feeder. Or, uh, what do they, what do they call it? Underwater box feeder. So we'll add that. And we'll add a keeper, and we'll see if they try to feed the sharks. Because they should be able to go in the tank, or at least to drop off the food in the water. Okay, we'll just follow this guy around. Okay, three votes for Roger Williams. So, Roger Williams is currently winning, so we might be doing the Babarusa next episode. Just preparing the food. Okay, this should be interesting. Dumps it in the water. Okay. The feeder should work now. So we'll see if they get fed. These ones are freaking the hell out. Yeah, what's up with the sharks? Why are they freaking out? The hell? This one's... Why are they all bugged? Is this like a normal bug? With the caimans in general? Or diving? See you, Philly. Thanks for dropping by. Uh... I guess it will say it isn't underwater. What the hell? Feet are not deep enough. Is it good now? Or is it too deep? Is that the issue? Is that it's techni- it, it thinks it's actually- I need to find- yeah. <laughs> so that's weird. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna do something a little creative, and I'm gonna put the feeder in the rocks, in that case. But yeah, I don't know what's up with the sharks. Thanks for dropping by, Dynamation. Appreciate it. Looks like two of them are hitting it off. Yeah, I don't know what's up with them. These these ones are like clipping into the wall, and these ones are clipping into each other. This one thinks it's a whale. These ones, yeah. What the hell? This is I've never had this issue before. Let me just see if I put them back in the enclosure. Like if I just move them. They should want to go back in the water. Though. Wow, are they not going to be able to? Give me a sec. <sighs> this is why I hate making truly aquatic tanks. Because they... The animals in this game are rather dumb. So, they should be able to get in the water now. I believe. Yes. So, let's just move all of my sharks onto land for a second. Uh, just so that they go back in the water normally. So yes, this is, th this is them working properly though, is now they're actually swimming normally. This one is sleeping. He shouldn't be able to even do that, but he is. Yeah, I don't know why all my sharks are, like, bugged for some reason. It's really weird. <laughs> they look like they're, like, f dying. Well, and I guess they were. They were starving before. Yeah, it looks like it's a general diving bug. Because it doesn't look like it's anything that my mod did. Because the mod works fine as long as they, you know, get into the water. Because, yeah, now they're all walking around just fine. Or swimming around, I should say. Do we have any more buggy ones? This one's buggy. Oh, wait, no. This one is, though. And then this one's just hanging out on the fucking surface, so he's just... Dude, get up. Go in the water. Go in the water. 
Get in the water. Are you in the water? I think you're in the water. Cool. Because now I'm deleting your rock. Now you guys are stranded in the water again. But, now they are all swimming properly again. So there we go. Uh... I really want to visit Roger Williams one day in my life. I mean, it's a nice zoo. It definitely is a nice zoo. So I definitely, you know, would recommend going here. If you were, for whatever reason, in Rhode Island, which no one ever comes here. But if you want, you know, come to Rhode Island. Roger Williams is a nice zoo. It's a small zoo. You can do the whole thing in, like, I mean, speed running it like I have. You can do it in, like, a half hour. But if you took your time, it you'd be there for, like, a solid two hours or so. Uh, Oi, and Nick, you missed Gaming Beaver the other day. He is the beaver, of course. What do you mean I missed the Gaming Beaver? Was he in, like, the chat or something? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Because the Gaming Beaver, I'm a big fan of. Like, I, I've been following him for his Jurassic Park content and stuff for a bit. I do, I do like him. <laughs> Rhode Island isn't even an island shaking my head. Yep. Though we are officially the state of Rhode Island now. We have removed the Providence and Providence Plantations from our name. Because uh, we used to be the state of Rhode Island and the Providence Plantations. But uh, with this election, we have officially changed our name. So we are just Rhode Island now. If you want to do the rock work, it'll take you 10 hours. Yeah. Um... Let me think. Because I'm trying to think of layout of what I want to see. Because here's the thing. is like, here's the entrance, right? You know, Marine World. I, 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 it's not Sea World. It's Marine World. Um, okay, I did want to do this. And this is sort of where the theme park-esque, uh, you know, situation is going to come into place. Where this is going to feel more like Sea World than most other aquariums because i'm gonna have it so that there's some sort of focal point in the center here um what's its issue there we go i don't know why it doesn't want me to connect the path the hell weird well, that's going to cause some issues. And obviously we're going to cover all this up anyway. This is such a nice wet zoo. Because <laughs> uh, I was thinking of something. I was looking in the, the workshop for a few things. So I was thinking something like this, right? This is kind of like a nice entrance piece. Uh, and so I was like debating, do I want something kind of like a the uh, the Planet Aquarium logo that I made? So, like, which was more like a whale tail. So, if I just kind of quickly made it. I don't know if I could in time. But yeah, I don't know. Would people want me to do, like, sort of like a Planet Zoo player has an animal? There's a marine land in Niagara Falls in Six Flags. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing I was, like, laughing about is, um... There's so many, um... There's so many, like, uh... Aquariums that are just, like, the most boring, generic names. Like, you have Sea World and Sea Land and Marine World and Marine Land and... Uh, sea Park and Marine Life Park and... You know, like... Like, as an example, like, Trico has his sea world in Australia, which is different from the sea worlds in, uh, the United States. Like, it's just, there's, there's so little, like, ideas of, like, you know, names of parks. Like, I, I probably could have just literally called this sea world and called it a day. And, like, no one would have even, like, you know, cared, because clearly that's what I took inspiration from, from this, so... But let's see, because... 
See, I'm wondering if I want the the globe or something over here, or if I want want it over here in this center pavilion. Because I, I want some kind of thing like this. I don't know if it'll be this in particular. Um, but I don't know if I want it here or if I want it over here. Like, I think over here it might look better because it's a nice framing centerpiece or something. But I'll, I'll have to look. Um... What do we got? Oh, when everyone, when the other day on stream you said that every point is a YouTuber is an animal. Yeah, that is true though, yeah, because the gaming beaver do, does have a beaver. Uh, Best in Slot has the sloth, Rudy has the camel, I have the lion, Thrive has the rhino. Uh, what else is there? Drew needs an animal. That's what, that's... And, uh, and Savannah. She's the only one, too. She just has the kind of, like, pastel aesthetic. She doesn't have an animal, either, really. But, uh, yeah. Estan has the wolf. I have the lion. Thrive has the rhino. Uh, Palsley has his face. <laughs> like. <laughs> so I guess he, he doesn't work out, either. But. I don't know. I think that's also the thing that separates people is like uh, people like Drew like don't have an animal because they don't want to be an animal channel. Like 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 Drew is definitely a lot more like theme park oriented, and while he enjoys Planet Zoo, it's just he I think he's he's definitely waiting for the day that Planet Coaster Two comes out for sure. Um, Drew is the Frank, yeah. Australia is getting a lot of attention lately. SeaWorld is getting a new wooden coaster. Sea Dream World is getting a semi-aquatic launch coaster. Oh, that's cool. I always wanted to go to Australia. I just don't know where I would go. Like, part of me says, like, oh, I'd go to um, Sydney, of course. But then, like, the, the tourist zoo nerd in me is like, I should go to Queensland just so I could go to, you know, the Australia Zoo just to check it out. Home of the Crocodile Hunter, Steve Irwin. But, I don't know, like... I'll have to see, because, like... From what, uh, what Trico says and stuff about Australia, he said that Taronga is a very nice zoo. So maybe, you know, I would go there. And Arkham Asylum is getting retired. <laughs> Just go to the Gold Coast. Um... So tell you what, I'm going to stream just a little bit longer. Just a little bit. Just because I kind of want to do this big centerpiece over here. So let's just dig down just a, a little bit. This is sort of interrupting my path flow a little bit, but... Because I sort of want just a big... Oh, well, that's annoying. <laughs> I just want a, a big uh, circular water feature right here. Like this. Just a clear circle. Excellent. Perfect. Because this is going to be the center frame framing piece of the park. And now I can just kind of cover up my paths the best I can. Or at least try to. Oh, is it not going to... Really? Come on, Planet Zoo. It's just water. It's not a big deal. Obstructed by water volume, obstructed by water volume. Like, really? You can't figure this out. What is even near it? <laughs> Ugh, Planet Zoo. Planet Zoo, man. Frustrates me to no end. There we go. I'm just going to make a confusing path now. 
That, how, how, do you, how do you like it, Planet Zoo? I'm just gonna cover all this path up anyway, because your paths are dumb. God. Yeah, okay, so... We'll do this, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this... Do this, do this, <laughs> do this, do this. <laughs> this is just a mess. But I'm gonna cover it all up anyway, so we're fine. Uh, what do we got? There used to be a sister park in Canada's Wonderland in Kings Island near Sydney, but Paramount sold it to Malaysia-based firm who did nothing. Last zoo, I've gone to a decent size that was Brookfield, like, seven years ago. If you don't want to mess with the past, I can mess with them later. No, it's fine, because I just sort of want to do this, at least. I just wanted to do this main centerpiece, and then I'm probably going to uh, get off the stream. But I wanted to do this first. So as an example, we'll... Or where's the... There is a dyeable brick, right? Which brick is flexi color? Flexi color. Um, really? Do I have to use that one? That kind of sucks. I was not looking forward to that. Thank God for Nick. <laughs> Delete the water and put it back in when the path is done. No. Uh. No. See, that's the thing. Is I don't want her. Like, would that work? Maybe that would work, actually, That you now that you mention it. We'll try that out. Yeah, no, it doesn't like it because of the path. So it's, it's not a big deal. I can get a little bit closer, but again, I'm covering all of this up anyway, so it's not really a big deal for me. Because, yeah, I'm just literally just making a circle. But let me see. So do I want to use this? I guess. If I like this blue, but we'll we'll see what it looks like. Um, this works. Is that a? Oh come! On. Oh, that's what you were talking about. My stream. Is that it? Like, is my stream breaking again? I don't know why it does that. It's really annoying though. So, let's see. There we go. Just looks like a little tile of pool or something. And now we'll use my favorite piece, the temple piece, to make a little fancy... Nope, not temple's piece, the temple piece. Because we are going to now make a nice little centerpiece of some kind. Just because I think the park needs one. Um, so let's see. So... If I do that, and then do I want a little stripe or something over here that's like more of like a cyan color or something? Yeah. 
So we'll do this. And this is definitely going to clip, but... We'll try this out for size. thing, but do this, now do the same thing, and I just keep doing this repeatedly. And then eventually we will have a full circle. Same thing, take these, combine them, move them over, take this, do that, take this, do that. Over. Take this, do that, combine them, and there we go. We have a beautiful area where we can now place um, something like the Planet Zoo logo, or the Planet Zoo sphere. I want it kind of high though. I want it like higher up. And I'm going to probably modify it a bit. So let's do that for now. But yeah, you come in, and yeah, that looks cool. Actually, do I want it lower? It almost looks like Universal or something, like the Universal Globe. But that's sort of what I'm going for. Just something kind of like that. Just so you come in, and then, whoa, beautiful, and then we can decorate some palm trees over here. And yeah, I think this is gonna, this is gonna be a nice looking park in the end. I definitely want to do something more elaborate, but this gives you the general idea of what I'm going for, is some kind of centerpiece like that. It's kind of dwarfed by the fine side, but yeah, but that's fine, because again, like, I, I'm gonna, you know... This is just going to be a, a pavilion that, you know, a lot of stuff is probably going to be dwarfed by the building. Because I just want weenies, so that, like, you know, you can... You come in here and you see the lighthouse, you see the globe, you see the aquarium, you see the water tower. I'm probably going to need to do something back here with the uh, walrus and stuff. Just something to make that area interesting. I'm not sure what, you know, something Arctic-themed would look like. Uh, wish they would add a turntable to this game. And that, because the other thing is we still have to work on the entire interior of here. Um, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Needing to do a whole interior. Because that is an important part of the build, it's just... Um, I want to make sure that this outside area isn't just, like, overlooked. Because we need to start working on the actual entrance area and stuff. Um, because as an example, and this could just be me being a little bit, you know, anxious or something like that, but like, I want to add something here, some kind of like palm trees or something, just to this area. I'm probably going to have to use mulch, aren't I? Uh, mulch, my good old friend. Not really good old friend, but... You are something, aren't you? Just because I want to just dab along here. We're going to add some tropical trees and stuff and foliage. Do that, do that. Oh yeah, it's the creepy music. Yeah, I know. Like I said, I'll leave, I'll leave it for now just because I'm going to be signing off in a minute or two anyway. I just wanted to do this little area just to kind of... Yeah, we just, we just need some, like, you know, color and stuff. Some greenery that isn't just the same old, same old. 
that we've been doing. Or like the same, just like big open areas. I just wanted a couple like little things like this spread out throughout the park where it's just little, little patches of jungle and stuff. Um, that might be too much. I'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, so that pretty much sums up the park for now. So, uh, I will probably be working on, um, I guess Roger Williams and the Bombarus episode next episode. So, I will be showing off, obviously, the Harbor Seal, like, as we do progress updates on this park and stuff. Um, and, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, Thursday we're gonna do Roger Williams... And then next Tuesday, I'll have to see. Because I do start want to start my first episode of Wild Card relatively soon. But, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Um, if you're interested, uh, maybe consider becoming a member. You get some cool perks and stuff. But uh, past that, just keep liking and subscribing and sharing the videos and stuff. So thank you all, and I will see you.